to become like him how can we the human beings think and become like god second wherever we are placed we can find thousands of problems but it's up to you and me where do we focus god reveals our problems to us not to get stuck up with the problems or to stuck up with the people in whom we find all kinds of struggle or pain or problem but how can we carry them along with us if god has given to us somebody or he has placed us among some people and helped us to know the problems around us is for this purpose to train our hearts and our minds that how can we carry everyone along with us third when things go wrong god trains moses number 1 to stand between god and man a man of prayer and intercessor this is what we read in the book of ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 i look for a person who can stand between god and these people and today the lord is saying do you know what is your call you are called to be an intercessor means to stand between god and man and then to second moses confronts god reminding him lord what are the promises you have given to us so these are the days where we are going to stand before stand in between god and the people and the issues and second we are going to remember recollect back the promises of god what it moses say about abraham the promise you gave lord now what happened to that we are going to remind ourselves of all those promises third how moses has brought blessing to his people the people whom god wanted to punish so in these 21 days we have to learn how to change that so called problems or curses into blessing how to confront god telling god the promises which he has given to us and asking god to fulfill those promises in our lives and besides that to be an encountering god in the form of an intercessor standing between god and his people standing between god and our issues so these 21 days are grace filled days that we are going to achieve these three things to become an intercessor standing between god and his people and the issues number 2 to become a confronter to god recollecting the promises of god and telling him who god is what he has said why these things are not happening how can this blessing be fulfilled in their lives third how to transform the curses or the problems into blessing how we can carry the people whom god has given to us along with us my dear friends as moses was there for 40 days god tells moses come down man 40 days you have enjoyed in my light in my presence i did not call you just be with me alone every encounter god gives to us is to be with his people to be with the people whom god has given to us so the lord sends him back to the people yes and what is the lord says he trains moses by saying that number 1 he says from chapter 32 kindly take your bible then you will understand clearly the number 1 he says in these 21 days what are you supposed to do he tells moses and today he is telling you and me number 1 he says go down to your people to see 
their conditions you are so busy doing many things for the family doing many things for yourself for your spiritual life for your financial life now the lord is saying go down to your people find out what is happening do you know what's happening to your child do you know what is the behavior of your child do you know how your wife is crying do you know how your husband is burden go down be with them and know them this is the first thing god tells moses go down to your people to know them personally this is the time of grace for you it's the time to know each other deeply for that purpose i gave this to you this family to you this issues to you number 2 he says find out how they have forgotten my ways you have taught them how to become an engineer how to study well how to memorize the subjects you have taught them how to come up in life you have taught your son how to become a big famous businessman or how to earn money how to save money how to behave with people but have you taught them is my ways are lived by them or not so he tells moses number 1 go down to be with them number 2 find out and i have found they are not keeping up my ways they are not walking as i have taught them you got to be with them and you will know yourself and everyone that how my ways are not lived by you number 3 he says they have found their own ways maybe their friends have taught them maybe the books have taught them maybe internet has taught them maybe the cell phone or the politicians made it taught them i don't know he says they have found their own ways and their own ways fourth their own ways are leading them to destruction they are worshiping the golden calf and they are saying it is that golden calf is going to guide them and protect them these people are thinking that your job is going to take care of you your company is going to take care of you or your relationship is going to take care of you go down and check your life be with your people how they have forgotten my ways how they have found their own ways and how their own ways are destroying them and destroying you this is the moment of reflection these are the moment to know what is happening to us to take stock of our life a man who runs fast makes many mistakes that's why the lord said to jeremiah in jeremiah chapter 6 if you don't want accident in your life you need to do three things what is that number 1 stop number 2 look around and third after studying everything then proceed in life and these are the three 21 graceful days god gives to us to do this and fifth the lord saying because they have got hold of their own ways i'm not going to keep quiet i am going to punish them and the consequence of their sin is going to affect them so these graceful days we are going to reflect on ourselves how have i landed up with my life what are the ways of my life and how my life that has drifted away from god has brought so many type of sin and curses into my life because every act of us has eternal consequence every act of us has eternal consequences so check your acts